Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to the channel, guys. Welcome to the channel. Your girl's got a new haircut. Well, not a new haircut. What am I saying? It's not a new haircut. A new hairstyle. I decided to straighten the little hair that I had on my head. I and, want um, my hair to be straightened. No, Baba. Yeah, I won't have to stay curly because the straightening is not gonna. It's not gonna last on your hair. You'd have to straighten it with um, a lot of heat, so that ain't gonna work. And you can't put chemical in your head because you're too young. I it's don't not good. want um, my head to be sticking out of my hair. So as per usual, guys, I'm just doing the school run with the kids, and um, yeah, I'm not gonna do a long drive or anything like that. Just. I mean, like vlogging, but it's, I mean. So basically, I'm just here to introduce the vlog. Good morning to any new subscribers. Thank you guys for subscribing to the channel. Welcome. Thank you for my um, day one subscribers. I have to take these glasses off and pay attention to the road. Yeah, guys. Thank you, thank you guys so much. Um, yeah, my name is Rosemary Reed. Welcome, 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 welcome. some stuff and we've got on clothes to unpack and um i'm just taking some stuff i'm gonna go see my older boy tomorrow ramar is his birthday so i'm just organizing some stuff i'm not taking the whole suitcase because i was advised not to because um the stuff might go missing so i'm just taking some essentials like um stuff that you can walk around in um comfortable stuff you know he's got his um shorts long length shorts and stuff um some t-shirts and some joggings boxes um towel flannel toothbrush toothpaste stuff like that i'll bring in um yeah i'm just packing his little travel bag not taking big suitcase so stuff i'm bringing is stuff that it's not new new some of them is new but not generally not new new stuff so it's not all of them that's going I think uh, I won't go two nuts I think I'm, I'm taking one 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 jeans just in case but I think more or less, that's going to be it. Not taking any more from that side, from this side. I'm just going to take some socks. And I'm going to take in this hat as well. I've never worn it before, but I'm going to take it just so he can cheer up himself because it's birthday tomorrow. I've got a couple more other things for his birthday. I'll pack the socks in this bit. And I've got some more socks. Can't my pack. Because the weather is going to be um, warmer. Actually, I'm going to probably keep these socks. And just pack some light ones. Don't want to pack all of it. Because, like I said, they go missing, apparently, in those kind of um, environment sometimes, moving about and knowing what he can be like. I'm packing my slippers as well, his house slippers, I'll pack it somewhere. I think I've got outer space, I think we've got a bit 
No, I'll just pack it at the side. I'll put it in a bag. Pack it at the side. on the other side see if there's anything else I want to take from this or maybe that's it for now from now but I'll take him um, I'll chuck a jumper in just in case it might feel cold at any point I want to wear that jumper but I think I'm going to leave it at that what I'll do because he's got new stuff in this bit some, some, some of it as well I'll probably just depending on how often I go and see him I'll just take stuff as I go along and probably take back stuff kind of thing see how we go sort this out another time oh. yeah guys that's what you girls up to hey guys I'm so mashed up literally Taking the train back home now. Went to visit Ramar this morning. And um, yeah, it was a good visit. I know I'm going to look, I've been sleeping on the train trying to get back. But yeah, he's in very good spirit. It's his birthday today. And um, just hanging out with him. In, like the living room area showed me around his room and stuff like that where he's staying and we had a chat sitting down another chat and we had to cut cut his hair down a bit um because it's knotted at the end so i just cut it um more than he'd like me to cut i ended up cutting it and braiding it in two and tried and told him not to try not to get it tangled up again yeah and the people the way he's staying they're nice as well so that's good it's just um quite a bit of a journey i didn't drive because it's too far to drive for me anyway and um yeah to take the train and then take a taxi from the station to where he, he is and then do a taxi from here we is to the train station and then back on the train. So I'm back on the train and um, I call Russ to come and pick me because um, he was staying just in case. Um, it was like after the school run that I got back. Well, I got him. Sorry guys. I got home before the school run. So I'm just gonna jump off the train now at the end time to literally go in him and uh, get picked up by Russell. That's Anthony. Adam had a steak pasta, it was quite nice actually. Some crisp and some oasis. I've only got the Oasis to show for it. I munched this pasta. Which, like I said, the pasta was really good. Let me just get the ticket out just in case. We are now approaching Penzang, where this train terminates. On behalf of the on-train crew, thank you for travelling with Great Western Railway. We wish you a safe and pleasant onward journey. I am thankful and grateful. 
glory be to the most high God. I haven't had with my glasses today. I don't know if I if I could clean it up and put it back on. I've been working work my natural hair lately. Oh, yeah. That was a hot mess. And the glass is not clean. To put in some more. It's a Thursday night, and sure I've got Thursday after evening. I'm sure I've got football later. Shane's one got cancelled again. He's, he's literally, it's the end of his season, he's not done another match. So that's what's happened with the Shane's. One, but he did have a training which got cancelled. The coach put up an announcement saying that it's the end of the season, etc. etc. So, hey guys, good morning. I'm in the kitchen this morning. I need to sort me this life out, <laughs> my kitchen and everything out like it's 10 19 and I woke up from probably mm, seven something. And um, I told myself I was going to have a line Saturday morning and uh, yeah. Guys, I'm all over the place. I don't know where to start. But I wanted to share with you all that I'm kind of like in such a peaceful kind of... Um, feeling, regardless of there's so much going on. Like, um, I went through a phase where I was like extremely tired, but still peaceful behind that tiredness. Um, went through a phase of being so thankful, really, really thankful, really thankful, just being thankful in my heart because the way things have um, transpired um, with my eldest boy is what I've been praying for. And um, sometimes I'm wondering if I'm coming back and saying too much on the topic in terms of um, maybe I'm going over stuff, I'm not sure. But, you know, when it's in your heart to share, it's in your heart to share and you might keep tripping over the same thing. Maybe somebody has missed that out there. I don't know why, but I can only tell you guys from how I'm feeling. And I kind of feel like, oh, I want to move on from the situation. But I kind of feel like I'm, I've missed out on a segment that I haven't really um, feel you guys in. You know, just to visit my son and um, see him and to know in my heart that is things I've prayed on. And it is just absolute blessing, absolute miracle absolute joy and I would say we you know when I'm visiting we encounter an area that I, I haven't quite felt before just like we can communicate with each other on on a equal level in, in terms of um, very peaceful very loving very calm level it's a great 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 experience um, the people that he's been put in the midst of, oh my gosh, just like thinking about it, it feels a little bit overwhelming because I haven't really tapped into that place to really deep what I know. You know when you're having deep things because it'd probably be a bit much, but you know that it's what you've prayed on, it's what you prayed about and... Um, that's been transpired 
and it, it, you know maybe you know my limitation of better is limited in in the area because I know God can do um more and more but where he is you know um even myself I could picture it but I also I didn't quite picture this it you know if it makes sense but yeah even when I left you know he will call me on like video talk and I could see him when I packed his bag I put a bible on it I it, it, um, put a bible in there and him calling me and I'll, I'll send him scriptures and he said mom what part of the bible um is it like him he, he find the the, the chapter but he's like where in it and i said you know when you get to one there's more and more unless it, it's a small chapter and it ends quickly but there's always more and more and when he skip the page he's like wow yeah mommy right and i'm thinking you know i grow my kids in a christian family how do they not know this so he kind of highlight me that my children and he you know he's, that's my eldest my children there's things that they don't know as well because i feel like he has a good grasp on on knowing things about the bible but there's so much more that they don't know that we might assume they know which is my point i wanted to point out because that showed me clearly that i assumed that you you know more in regards to the bible but it also give me hope that from him tapping in and looking and he, he, he'll want to know more and he want to know more and he will be in the Bible reading. So, yeah, experience like that. It's, it's just, you know, really nice, really nice, you know. Obviously, I go through highs and lows and I, I think my high is really trusting God. But sometimes when I get to the area when I forget about being reliant on God alone and that helps me to take away my worry, my fears, everything. But when you get to some areas and you f you forgot what you said, you for you forgot um, that you completely reliant on God and you trust and you tap back into that area where you're thinking um, on your own strength and thinking, you know, you go backward and you question things, you know, there's times when I question whether I should give him his phone because I know that's a big part of some of the um, not so good stuff that's transpire and then I'm thinking you know why hold it back because he's gonna have to have it at some point because he's an adult anyway so why trying to restrict him from his phone so uh, I, I'll, I'll seek in my heart you know and I then decide it's pointless exercise trying to keep him away from his phone so I brought his phone and I gave it to him because you know everything that you're going to want to protect them from you can't protect them from it forever so you're going to have to open them to it and um not lean on your own understanding basically is what i'm saying and and trust in god because when you see the goodness of him which you know of anyway well when you see it transpiring and manifesting in 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 in, in the way that you prayed for and hoped for and even to greater levels it's just amazing amazing stuff and I, I have also noticed that so much youtubers and different people are, are um, talking a lot of stuff um, about God and the goodness of Jesus Christ and what he, he represents and their life and their testimony and their experience um, you know so many YouTubers, British YouTubers, US YouTubers. So I definitely know that there's a shift, there's a change. There's you know, it's people are actually um being what's the word touch or God is really tapping into everyone's soul and showing them um him you know because 
and and helping them to, to, to show others and teach others because we all are so lost. There's so many people out there that's so lost and, you know, it's all about vanity. It's all about what's happening now. It's all about what's happening, worldly things. I have been reading in the book of Jeremiah and that's a hard book to read, you know. Um, it, it was talking about um, Jeremiah the prophet when God speak to him and tell him about the, the the all the negative that was happening um and in, in in that time and how he felt about the people because they kind of wanted to turn to um gods that they know nothing of gods that they're the one because they want to do things from their own heart and their own selfish part of their mind and body they wanted to turn to these other gods and then the, what I've learned, like when the chips are really down and when things that they, they get so bad and so fested into the, the negative and the darker side of things and, um, you know, which displeases God so much because, you know, they'll get up every day and they're probably fast and they're probably praying and, the, you know what, they're fasting and they're praying about the wrong things because they're fasting and praying about stuff that they want is not what they um, pray to God and ask if this is your will, God, or this is your way, you know, because God looks into the, the inner heart and know what's in your heart and what's in your mind and know that you're just praying or, or, or for the sake of praying. You're fasting for the sake of fasting, but it's, it's, it's not genuine. And you, 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 when you're ready, you tap into other form of God, but it's not the true God. So God can know all these things about individual persons. So, you know, the book of Jeremiah teaches you a lot about those things. And when God sent his true prophet and gave him word and to say, oh, I'm pleased is what, what's going on and, and what he's, he's, he's going to do because he's so upset with how everyone is, is leading their life and everyone is going. It, it, it's just powerful stuff. And I relate to it very much so because I have experience of, you know, you, you, you want to do things on your own strength or you want to um, do things halfway. You, half of your own strength and, and, and half you relying on God. But God will see through that and to know that you know, you're not really relying on him, you're not really trusting him, and, you know, he, he tell you in, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth, but yet you go into other things to find God. You're not coming back right there where it starts and where it's beginning, and, and, and trusting that who created the heaven and the earth, who created the animals, who created the trees, who created the seas, who created the fruits, who created everything around us. We, we, we go into sort um sides sidelines spirituality sideline stuff our halfway stuff our stuff that we feel like okay we we don't have to go the full hundred we can just go a quarter way or halfway and um you know which we think that that's what our capacity can do with instead of really trying to listen and to seek things the true way guys i'm Hey guys, I'm dressed and ready to go. I'm gonna show you guys the uh, chicken and the salad that I prepared. I wanted to give you an outfit, um, but I don't know if Tilly's gonna come to hold the camera. Maybe when I get there, I'll try and do that and show you guys what I'm wearing. But I kind of just like brush myself up a little bit. I'm not looking the same old, same old. And um, from the other day, I've been rocking my natural hair, guys. Here's the shoe. Come say hello to <laughs> Shane just in his sport gear. Um, let me show them what I look like a little salad. And a bit of fried chicken. That's what I prepared. I think I hear Tilly coming down, so. Try and see if she can do me an outfit of a bit, I don't know. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna like head out now, so I'll just do it when I get there and I'll show you guys Tilly and Angela as well. So guys, we just come. <laughs> Came back from 
<laughs> we just come back from um, you have to the ask awards. Because that was my ball. And Shane show. Let me see your award, Shane. That's a different one. It's quite nice, isn't it? I'm not seeing it properly. Yeah, it's yeah, Shane. End of season award. It is Angela. Uh, let me have his football. That's Angela's football. That's why he's hovering and carrying on like that. Come to late. Come show. He doesn't share. You show the guys what you're wearing. Hurry up. No. I haven't taken off my shoes. Ooh. I took off my shoes. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. That's chili pops for today. Oh, oh. <laughs> Come, you do mine, please. And why am I That's my outfit. Oh, I done you already. When you was messing around on the floor, <laughs> I do it again. That's my outfit of the day. Uh, Anyone's wondering, my little shirt thing oof. is from Shine. What do you think, guys? Oof. Really cute. Feeling myself today, wearing my little, <coughs> my little cut-up jeans, my everyday regular, you know, I don't know my little dusty jeans, but you know, fling a little shirt on it and you, this is what you get. Come, Angela, Angela, your turn. Angela, have on a nice little polo shirt and his brown trousers and he's wearing his brown shoes. And show the <laughs> balloon you got. The <laughs> balloon! Yeah! This will help me oh, sleep! Gosh. Yeah guys, so uh, that's all, all in all, it was um, really nice, um, what do we call it, really really nice if, 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 if award event and um, just getting up there and out of the house and stuff, yeah, Russell took us, bless him and he has to get up like three to go work in the morning, so and I think it's probably after 10 now or 9, let me check. And I think I'm, I'm feeling a bit like greedy to go eat some more because my, my dinner was good. It was like fried chicken with, and I did some curry and white rice on the Ooh. side. So it was really good. Ooh. Really good. Wow. Yeah. Um, wow. What's the time? 20. 22, yeah. After 10, 24 minutes after 10. So, yeah. I'm just gonna kind of unwind, kind of wash the makeup off my face and go to bed. Angela Leonard Hart. Yeah, guys. Anyway, this one, I'm gonna close up the vlog as well. I'm gonna close the vlog out here. Um, yeah. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, guys. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you all for the new subscribers out there. Thank you all for the new subscribers. I really appreciate you all. Lots of love and best wishes. Yeah, and I shall see you guys in another vlog. Bye, guys.